It is mainly in terms of diagnosis. The diagnosis is much more objective. We have around three or more uh, molecular uh, uh, or mutations which are described in the last 10 years, as I said. These include JAK2 V617F mutation uh, uh, described in 2006. And in the last two or three years, additional mutation called color mutation was described also uh, uh, in patients with uh, myelofibrosis and essential thrombocytemia. So our way of diagnosis is much more objective. Uh, and in the last couple of years also, next generation sequencing really is helping us to define more molecular abnormalities, especially uh, to the, uh, with regard to prognosis of patients with myelofibrosis. And the, uh, those really helps us to decide to advise our patients in what direction to go in terms of their treatment.